April 30th, 2010, 11.46. Two men walks into a Circle K convenience store in Florida. the fastest growing local news station. This is WPBF 25 News at 11. It appears they did not resist in any way, shape, or form, and these two individuals were gunned down in cold blood for no apparent reason. The search continues tonight for the men accused of killing two convenience store workers. As stated, two store clerks were killed, and initially, the police couldn't determine which two people committed this heinous crime because of the mask they were wearing but eventually they found which two assailants decided to go and kill innocent people who did nothing but their jobs green acres police need your help finding these two men take a look they say they're responsible for robbing the circle k convenience store at the intersection of 10th avenue north and 57th street this happened this past saturday morning detectives say the pair left the gas station in a newer gray perhaps charcoal colored chevrolet malibu so the question then becomes why do robbers usually kill the people they are robbing you know Usually you will think, okay, they certainly killed the clerk because the clerk saw their faces. But these two assailants came in a convenience store with a mask on. They were abiding by COVID-19 rules even before it happened 10 years later. One of those incidents, the deadly shootings at a Green Acre Circle K. Robert Alvarez and Darnell Raz are now charged with two counts of first degree murder with a firearm while wearing a mask. They're also charged in connection with several other crimes. The shootings at the Circle K happened back on April 30th of last year. Authorities say Raz and Alvarez held 39-year-old Ralston Muller and 48-year-old Michael Bennett at gunpoint while taking cash. The two clerks were then shot dead a few minutes later. So how did the police know it was these two men? If these two men were wearing a mask when they committed a crime? Well, Mr. Robert Alvarez and his partner basically came in with a mask. But before they came in, Robert Alvarez was walking outside with no mask on. So he was immediately identified. I'm going to read your rights before. I, I, I got a search warrant here for you. So right now I'm going to have to read your rights first, okay? You understand that? Yay. Your name Robert Alvarez? Yup. What's your date of birth, Robert? 12390. And where do you live in now? I'm living in 2103 21st Lane. And where would that be? In Green Acres. My name is John Van Houten. I'm the detective with the sheriff's office, okay? All right. Got it? Required to warn you before you make any statement, you have the following constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Do you understand that? I understand completely. Any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given. Do you understand that? I understand. Okay. You have the right to the presence or representation of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statement during okay. any questioning. Got it? All right. If you can't afford a lawyer, you're entitled to the presence and representation of a court appointed lawyer before you make any statement during any questioning. Got that? Yeah. If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any questions, you got to remain silent. You understand that? Mm -hmm. I promise you that, okay? I make no threats or promises to induce you to make a statement. This must be of your own free will. You understand that? Yeah. Any statement can be and will be used against you in a court of law. You exactly. understand? Exactly. You got it. Today's date is 6 10 10, and the time is 6 32 p.m. See right here? I'm going to put my ID number so I know I read you your rights. When I take them off and put them in front of you, 
We're gonna leave them on you, but they're gonna be in front of you, all right? You cool with that? I don't care, bro. I just need some water. You need some water. You can keep them shit behind me. I just need some water, bro. Why you need water? Water. What's wrong with you? You all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm scraped, but I'm saying I got avenue. You feel me? I'm trying to I need something to drink. I'm thirsty, dog. Shit, y'all just, they just put me through hell, scrit, scrit, scratching me all on the ground and shit, shit. I don't need some water, dog. All right, let me get you some more. You get a handcuff key, we're gonna put the cuffs in front of you, okay? You can put them where you want, you feel me? You got me locked in this shit, so shit, I can't go nowhere, so shit. So I got a search warrant for you, okay? Okay, I wanna know where everything's for. Okay, search warrant's for your DNA. Okay, my DNA for what? Okay, well, I'm not done, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Right. So the DNA is all it is, is a swab. You're gonna put it in your mouth, you're gonna rub it around, you're gonna put it back in an envelope. Oh, straight on that. Okay, you got it? No, and I'm not trying to, I don't want no DNA, I'm not trying to do that. Well, you have to. Well, I have we, to. We got a search warrant, it's, it's a court order. You so just take to me to jail it. then? No, we're taking your saliva and we're pulling hair out of your head. How, how you gonna do that? We're gonna reach up there and yank it out. Okay, so how, how, how you let it do without my permission? You got a search warrant. What that mean? It means I can take the hair and take your saliva. All right, then you go ahead and take your saliva and do it, y'all. So you sure you can do that? So what I say, you can, you can take Robert out. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it to you. All right, go ahead. All right. Why don't we wait till you get your water so we're not interrupted here? How's that? Excuse me. You ready? Yeah. The Sheriff Palm Beach, this, this is a search warrant, okay, I'm going to read mm -hmm. it to you. The Sheriff Palm Beach County, Florida, and the Sheriff's deputies and any police officers in Palm Beach County, Florida, within whose jurisdiction the aforesaid property to be searched is found, or the commissioner of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, or any of his duly constituted agents, whereas a complainant on oath and his writing supported by a David, affidavit of credible witness or witnesses as this day has presented to me. In other words, this is the judge saying this. Mm -hmm. And upon examination of the affidavit and application for the search warrant and the other's proof submitted, I'm satisfied that probable cause exists that the laws of the state of Florida are being violated in or on the body of, that's your body, mm -hmm. located in Palm Beach County, described as Robert William Alvarez, mm -hmm. a white male, date of birth, 12-3-1990. His last known address is 2103, 21st Lane, Green Acres, Florida. Mm -hmm. Being occupied under the control of Robert William Alvarez, a white male, date of birth, 12-3-1990. Mm -hmm. Okay? And there is now being kept in the above described body certain property particularly described as saliva, like mm -hmm. I mentioned to you, okay? And hair standards, which okay. means it just pull your hair. You can do it yourself. Yeah. So okay? Do that one, do it. Which is being on. kept or used under the violation to it, grand theft auto, conspiracy to commit home invasion, Aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer. Who? You. That so say that say that I I got that. Mm hmm And charged with that? Nope, not yet. Where is being kept or used in violation of Florida law to wit, grand theft auto, Florida State Statute eight one two point oh one four one two C. So you can see it. Conspiracy, Florida State Statute seven. So where does this shit come from? Through an investigation. Now read the rest. Now, therefore, the sheriff of Palm Beach County, Florida, and the sheriff's deputies and or any police officer in Palm Beach County within whose jurisdiction the enforced property to be searched is found for the commissioner of Florida all right, Department of right. Enforcement. So, so what, what, what are we going to get to in China? What's up? What, what's we, what are we doing? From the video, you can see that one of the assailants have a handgun and the other one have a rifle. So let's talk about the actual case. There were no eyewitnesses to the crimes, but there was an eyewitness in the neighborhood who heard shots and saw two figures running from the area of the convenience store. The eyewitness saw one of the figures running with what happened to be a pistol and there was no fingerprint or DNA evidence linking Alvarez to the crime and Alvarez did not even make any statements to law enforcement. So how did Alvarez get entangled in this situation? Two weeks after the crime, Alvarez's co-defendant was apprehended after a chase and during the chase, the co-defendant was seen throwing a firearm into a lake. Five weeks after the arrest, the firearm 
was recovered. But that still doesn't say how Alvarez himself was entangled in this situation. Well, Alvarez was entangled in this whole situation because of some key witnesses. Like I said, there was no witnesses but there were people around. And some of the people around happened to be the same woman that drove Alvarez and his co-defendant to the convenience store. So she was, she testified and she was like, shortly after 9 p.m. on the night of the crimes, she received a text message from Alvarez to pick him up. In the past, she's been picking up Alvarez to places in exchange for gas money, so she didn't think of it as anything serious. On that day though, she picked up Alvarez at the same apartment community where the handgun was thrown into the lake two weeks later and drove him to a nearby apartment complex to pick up Alvarez's co-defendant. She then drove both of them to a community park close to the convenience store where the crimes occurred. Alvarez and his co-defendant left the car acting normal. Alvarez told her he would be back. She sat in the car playing music so she did not hear any gunshots. But a short time later, Alvarez and his co-defendants came back to the vehicle, rushing to leave immediately. Okay, I can't, no, you have to do it. I can't touch none of it. I'm going to explain it to you. Just rip this right here. Rip this right here. See those two sticks in there? See how it's a stick and it's a cotton swab there? Listen to me now. And put it in your mouth like you're brushing your teeth and put it all up in your gums and shit. And then put it right back in here. Okay? You want me to do it? Yeah. I can't touch the sticks though. So you got to do it. Both of them? Yeah, you take them both. You can touch them. Pull it out. One? Both. Brush your teeth. Like you're brushing your teeth. Get your gums all up in your teeth. A little bit more, please. There's blood on that. You got blood. That's DNA. I know, but just do a little bit more. It's all good. Okay, cool. That's good. Don't be crazy. Come on, man. Y'all got now it, I bro. I can't touch it. You got to put it right back in there. Damn. There's some more DNA. Oh, Y'all straight now. Listen, listen. Now break that in half. Just break it in half. Break the sticks in half because they won't fit in here. There you go. Fold it over. That's cool. Just put it in there. Put it all in there. You said break it, bro. I did. Yeah. On fold, bro. I don't have crime scene do the hair because you need hair from the oh, okay, that's different fine. parts of his head and different parts of his face. So why don't I just take it off for y'all right now? Just oh, give me some scissors. We've got to put it okay. in separate envelopes okay, and mark it so we know where it came from. Okay, but I'm saying I can take them out right now. No, 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 but we don't have any place to you put it. You can't do it in front of us. we got to wait for this crime scene person to come with a, a, uh, like an envelope uh -huh. and they're going to put it in there. And they got to put like from your head, from your beard, shit like that. From it's your right be side of your head, from your left, left side, side of your head, front, front, back. You got any hair on your arms? Yeah. Hair from your arms, hair from your legs, and pubic hair. Shit, y'all ain't gonna get no fucking pubic hair. That's fucking. So, so I got a what? I ain't uh, even. What you talking about pubic hair? Well, you can pull it out, but we're gonna take pubic hair too. Fuck, y'all take all the hair y'all want. Hey, excuse me. I can get another cup of water if that's great with you. Yep, we'll get you a cup of water. So after I do all this, after I I, I do the I did all, all the hair shit and shit. If you ain't got no charge on it, we'll walk you right out the door. Right. Call the people come get you. Damn, why y'all can't take me home then? I might do that. I get to ride in the front, ain't it? <laughs> or the back? The back. I got an normal car. We'll put you in there and just take you home. How's that? The front? Yeah. Shot it straight. Great? Yeah, I'm straight, man. Damn, you know, dog, y'all made me look like fucking fools in front of my and my neighbors, y'all. Fuck, bro. What they got to is where you live? 
Thank you. I appreciate it. Not a problem. We like that motherfucker when we're We're a little bit more professional, okay? And we're here to talk to you. We're here to talk to you. That's it. You ain't never been in no stolen car? Nah, I don't fucking steal cars. I don't want to steal cars, bro. Oh, I don't think you stole it. I think you were riding it. No, I don't do none of that deal. I still out with females. How about home invasion? Mm -hmm. You ever go to anybody's house not wanted? No, no, never. Never? Nope. So when these people finna so come and take all this down? You promise you never been? No, like I said, I said I didn't. I right, said they're on the way here. Okay, so shit, I'm I'm finna wait until they here. Let me ask you one more time. How about the aggravated assault on law enforcement? No, it's great. No. You ever never hit no cop? No, none of that. You can check my record. Y'all got my record. You got my full name, don't it? Did you, you, know, shoot, did you ever shoot at a cop? Never did nothing like that in my life. How about your boy that got shot the other day? I don't know who you talking about. Shit. Rosario. I don't know who the fuck Rosario is. JJ. I don't know who that is either. Ramon Rosario? No, I don't know who that is. You don't know who he is? No. How about Angel Machado? Well, how about how about we just sit here and wait quiet until they take all my stuff? Because y'all just throwing shit on me, trying to, you feel me, poking I and prodding. I'm not throwing it on you. Okay, I'm saying you poking and prodding, you feel me? Like you said, I'm sitting here, y'all going to take this. This going to this gonna tell you whether or not, ain't it? Okay, then, so we straight, so we just gonna sit here, shit, and vibe. Shit, so what y'all doing in your off time? Chase bad guys. Okay, shit. What you do on your off time? I chill. Home invasion? Have sex with Steal cars? Nah. No. Shoot people? Fuck with people? No, I don't do no shit like that. You I got arrested in Boca for a burglar. Who? You. Who? You. A which? Who? A long time ago, yeah. How long is how old are you? I'm 19. I'm how long ago could it have been? Three know. and a half years. <laughs> what were you doing down there? Why'd you go down there and do it? When? Three and a half years ago. I'm saying, I don't know. What did you, but look, look, everything I'm saying, y'all y'all just keep t coming at me with stuff, you feel me? All this shit is irrelevant. You coming at you, you did it, didn't you? Okay, but I'm saying at so the I'm same time. Why coming at you if you already did it? Okay, yeah, and I've been charged with it and I did my time for it, so what's, what, what is that? You charged as a juvenile or an adult? As a juvenile. I went to the 12th floor, spent my time at the three years, the three and a half years. Went to a level 10 program. Went to a level 10 program. Y'all should have my DNA. You don't have it. Oh, tripping, though. Well, look, I went to a level 10 program, did 24 months there, I did three and a half years all together, you feel me? So, shit, I did my time chilling now. I'm out here fucking hoes and keep it real with you, shit. Y'all gonna keep it real with me, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Shit. How you make your money? What you mean, how I make my money? You work? I be vibing, no, I don't work, I don't do shit. I'm chilling, I go to Lakewood High, I go to Lakewood High School to get my GED. Where you get all your shit? Who? What yeah. shit? Your necklace, your what shoes, necklace? What shoes? your shoes, your tats. Where you get that? Your so gold teeth, shit. Hundred dollars a tooth. Okay. Hundred dollars a tooth. How yeah, you, you right got? about that. A hundred dollars a tooth. Yeah, but I've been had these. Why well, don't how long? I don't know. Okay, but I'm saying these tats, all these tats for free. I get all these tats for free. Really? Why not? Why not? Come on, man. Just like you know people, I know people, you feel me? So when you know people, you get things, you feel me? So shit, if I know somebody that do tats, you feel me? Then shit, he's not going to charge me, is it? So if we and you friends, you feel me? But how's this guy giving you tat making money? I might give you a break. Ooh, it's ink. What you talking about? Ink is what? 90 cents a bottle? I Are have you? no idea. Okay, no idea. It's so it's, it's really nothing. It, they, it's nothing but dollars. It's just it's just the the, the artwork that, that, that pays. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for the artwork, for the talent that he's, he's throwing on your skin. That's it. Shit, if it's my homeboy, shit, he gonna f wet me all up. Shit, I might even go home and shit, find some new shit to get wet up. So shit, feel me? So shit, I'm gonna get tatted for y'all boys when I go home.
We smoke tap, dog. What you gonna get? I don't know. Any color or just black? Fuck the color. Get a white color out? Mm mm. Straight on that color shit. What type of music y'all listen to? Country and Western. What what do you get out of? We might as well talk, dog, because I've been wanting to holler at y'all and see what y'all, what y'all be listening to. What you be listening to? I ain't talking to you. Let you tell me about the house you went in the other night. Fucking house. That's in that fucking house. Look, I'm going to talk to you You didn't, have, you didn't have a black bag with a rope in it and a gun in it? I don't know what that is. No, man. I don't know what. Look, what what music you you li- what you listen to? I listen to Soldier Slim and B. Jizzle. Soja Slim, VG, and Young Turk. That's probably the root of all your problems. Who? What? Come on, bro. Them boys spitting, dog. Ha. Ah, you listening to music, you can't you can't live by the music now, you feel me? Cause shit, people they, they, they live by the music and some of them people don't be living by that, you feel me? They just be making money off that shit. I listen to that shit. Them boys talented to what they what they went through in their life. Shit. I'm guessing you your fault. So what you can do, you're gonna write a song about how bad you were? People, Man, you, people you killed, homes you went in, shit who? like that. People Gun, I, guns you carry. Ah, did you find any guns on me? Come on, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I was in the car, shit. Did y'all find any guns in the car? Did you find any guns on me? Did you find any drugs on me? Let me tell you me? something. Now we're going to get real. Get real then. You see this DNA you just gave us? Yeah. And that hair you just gave us? Yeah. Did you touch that shotgun in the car? What shotgun? The black one. Bro, I don't know what y'all talking about. That's what I'm saying. Look, we're going to keep it like this. We're going to wait until my attorney comes. So, shit, I don't want to answer no more questions until my attorney's present. Or my father. So, straight like that. He finally asked for a lawyer. But I think it's too late because he's already been talking. Although he hasn't said anything, I have a feeling he's going to continue to talk. Look, man, look. Where these DNA people so they can come and DNA me good? You got my DNA. When you figure all that good shit out, you let me know what you got. Should we just come and ask you to come in, or should we come with the bad boys and get the guns? Come whatever. I'll come. Ready. I'll come in. Look, I'll come in. You call me. Call me. I'ma come in. I'll come in. All right. What's your number? You got a cell? You got a cell number? No, nah, that's my phone number right there. To the cell? Is it a cell or a nah, house No, that's number? the house phone number. Call me. I'm going to be there. Call me. Let me know. I'll come in. Walk in with y'all at all times. Shit, that shit don't mean nothing to me, bro. Real talk. Shit, I'm going to keep it on with y'all. Shit. <laughs> y'all tripping, dog. For real. You don't have a cell number? Mm-mm. I don't got that shit. Appreciate it. So, um, just waiting on them. Need my nails. I'm gonna clip some nails for y'all. Just what? He gets his nails done, I don't get mine done. No, I'm saying, do you want me to clip some nails off for y'all? No, I'm yeah. saying shit. I'm saying shit. I'm complying, I'm complying with y'all shit. You know how to swim? Mm, I don't know how to swim that well. You don't swim good? Hell no. <laughs> swim. All that gold in your mouth, what do you get that? <laughs> shit. So you chilling, dog. I should just don't look right on me now. Huh. So what would you do with all that gold in your mouth if you went to prison? What gold? All that shit in your mouth. What you mean? Guys would be thinking you have a real pretty mouth. That's probably not a good thing in prison. <laughs> huh. He's tripping. Shit. I don't want to know. I guess we'll only answer to that when he calls you on the phone. Damn right. It won't be too long. <laughs> Y'all are tripping. I can't. Yeah, we gonna see. We gonna see. Y'all gonna feel. Y'all gonna feel dumb. Y'all gonna feel dumb. Y'all gonna 
Where's all your relatives from? Where are your people from? Oh. Cuba. Cuba. From Cuba. How do you get the name White Boy? Who? You. I heard your nickname was Cracker Boy or Cracker White Cracker Boy or. Who? You. You. Shit, nobody disrespect me like that for no like that. No one call me no cracker, no white boy. Okay. Damn. Uh -huh. I'm scared of the photographs, but uh, I'll take I'll give y'all the hair. And okay, shit. just hold on. She's gonna photograph you first. She can't. I, if I don't wanna be photographed, shit. I don't well, be you photographed. got that. You yeah. got the inventory. Shit, how's that? That says it on there. You're gonna be photographed anyway if you get arrested. Might as well get it done. Shit, I ain't gonna be arrested. So shit. Let's photograph. Get all this done. You gotta even need a few because. Okay, she's good. Wait, 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 wait. We're not at just, that point yet. Just Why relax. Why are you standing against the wall when you photograph me? Just relax. relax. Yeah, yeah really. stand against that wall. You gotta relax. Like I'm over this way. Come over this way. Come over this way. So this is God, common God. practice for us to oh, photograph people with tattoos. But they got you everything. Gotta carry you gotta got to be able to joke. Who I don't care. I, I fight, I fight. I must be, I might be little, but I can fight though. I can fight, you feel me? Since I was 15, I've been fighting in the prison system, you feel me? I got you. Let that just take a picture with you. What are you talking about, dog? For, but y'all, I'm saying y'all got it already. We don't have a lot. All right, here, look, take it. Get it good. Wait, get the loyalty true. Get the loyalty. Right there, right there. Come on, wait, 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 wait. Get everything, so shit, you know everything, you feel me? That's the way to be. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You just want that one? Do you want yeah. any other ones? You want the all in too? Yeah, all, all in. Get the all, all in, in too. Shit, let them know what the play is. God damn. Okay. Do you have any marks on your legs? Scratches, scrapes, cuts, no, bruises, nothing. tattoos? No, anything? nothing. I don't have anything. Okay, good. Fish bite, shark bite. Hmm? Mm. Okay, okay. So we're good with the photos? Ready to do yeah, the hair? Okay. Do you need a DNA standard or do you already have one? We already got right here. Oh, I have that. That's okay, so we, we got did that. a search for it. Okay. Can I take these off now? Nope. No, we're gonna do this and you're gonna be out anyway. Fuck oh, no. Have you done hair standards before? Um no. I, Yeah. You had hair pulled out of your head? Yeah. I've been told y'all this. They did all this before I went to my program. How old were you young you know? I just got out. When did you get out? Eight months ago. I'm doing three and a half years. So I'm trying to tell y'all, fuck them, feel me? Is this thing I want to take it here? You can take anything you want, anything. Yeah, I, I can't even be in the room, though. They have this thing about we're not allowed to be in the same room. Okay, Look, I, I'm just going to pull it. I'm not going. I'm not showing nothing. I'm not, okay, I'm not disrespectful. I'm not disrespectful. Okay, I understand that, sir. For no woman, you feel me? I'm not like that. That's, okay. That's good to hear. Okay. Do you want to pull all your own hair standards, or do you want me to pull them? No, I can do the pubic? It's, it's for whatever you want to do. It's, it's, okay. You feel me? You look. I need it from five areas on your head. Okay, so which one? Should just point. We'll point to what I'll area. I'll point to where it is. The only thing is, I need a root on the hair, and I need like twenty hairs from each section. Hell so. no. Oh yes. If you yeah, don't do it, then I'm gonna have to do it. Twenty hairs. And it's gotta be the ball. Hair is it's like. Tiny, man. Hell no, bro. That's do, twenty when hairs, bro. When you do one bro. time, you look like me, and you'd be all done. Twenty hairs, bro, from each section, bro. Yeah, but that's you know what fast. that is? That's, that's like fast. Nothing. That ain't nothing. How do you know? That's 20 you fucking You have like hairs. a million hairs on your head. It's Damn, yeah, that's 20 hairs, bro. That's a fucking lot of pulling. It's actually, actually five seconds. It's actually 100 hairs. This, look, when you just do this, that's oh 20 hairs. Oh, my God, bro. 20 fucking hairs, bro. That's a lot of hairs, bro. And hair. on my pubic hair? Yeah, the girl. Yeah. The Come girls on, love bro. it. You won't have no hair down there and be fine. I barely got any. I'll be shaved. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I shaved down. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. I shaved down there. You feel me? I'm, there's no disrespect. I'm not. Oh, no that's disrespect. fine. None taken. Just, I, we just need to get this done. So the option is just you can pull it, it yourself. Do it it's do it. usually it's easier here. for you, you to pull it than for me to pull it. You know what? Do it one time. You'll see how little it is. For real. Hi, where you want it then? Okay, you Why take it. Damn, dog, you ain't Look, got a right barber. Right Can y'all give me a haircut? No, it has to be at the We have to bowl. have the root. We have to have the follicle have have the on the hair. Okay, we're going to do it like this here. <sighs> okay, I need... No, no you right have to pull it out. You have to pull it out of they your need scalp. The bulb. How do I you need, do that? I need okay, the root Okay, you the hair. do it. Okay. Fuck, y'all. Okay, I'll spell. It's going to hurt. It's gonna hurt. No, it ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> it's not gonna Come be on, like excruciating, but I'm pulling hair out. You're I don't want you to guy. like punch me in response or something. I'm not gonna hit you. I won't hit you. Look, I swear to God, look, I want you to know, look, ma'am, okay. I ain't gonna hurt you or touch you in no type of way. I'm, I'm not fine gonna with that. I'm just 
people okay, sometimes no, have a reflex action where they hit it. Yeah, do this here for you. She don't want to be a jerk reaction, you know. I'm not going to. I got a moment. God damn. That's like 20 right there. Nope. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't bleed. Come yeah. here, you're fine. We're not even done yet. Come here. Your hair is so short. That's the problem. Shit. Uh, chit 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 man. You're tripping, dog. You want to try tweezers? No. Well, then we have to do 20 in individual. It might be easier with that, seriously. Oh, that's but easy. But these aren't the greatest It's just numbers. like, why you can't take it from here? We got to do that, too. Just take them all from here, take 50 of them from different here. Different hairs. We have different to have different types of hairs from different parts. Yeah. Like your pubic hair is different from the hair on your so head. So, how many parts of my body you gotta get? 15. What? Well, we're not gonna do the nose, though, so don't worry about it. No, I'm saying, I'm or saying. Or the ears, we're gonna skip that. I don't got no hair on my head. I'm saying, so look, 20 from the head. Well, actually, 20 from five different sections on your head, so I need 100 come from your head. Bro. Let's do Correct? this, man. Come, come on, yeah, come on. 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 Come we get this shit to go over. The sooner we get done, the sooner come you get on, to leave. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We could have been done already. With one section, it could have been done. Seriously. Could have been finished. Come on, bro. Come why on, we right. can't do this? Why, why you can't shave it? it? Because when you shave it, you're cutting the hair. You're not getting the follicle or the root, which is what we need. You know, when you, if you ever pulled out a hair and it has that little white thing on the end, that's the, bulb, the root. We like need that. Mm -hmm. Haircut ain't shit. Don't do nothing for it. We don't need the haircut. We don't. That That's just dead hair that's been cut off. We don't okay, let's that. do these first. You want to do the beard no, first? No, no, fuck it, fuck it. Let's just we already started the one. Yeah, that's the worst part, man. That's easy. That's going okay. hard. Oh, you're going to take all tough. this hair out of my head. Man. You've been It'll through the system. Good. You're good. You're all in. It'll grow back. Think you're all in. What parts you got to gra grab from? I got to take from the front. Literally. I got to take from here in the front, here, 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 and then all the way in the back. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. And you then got the all these hats. You're all in. Oh, come on, shit guy. Guy. You just pulled the shit out of my head. I know, and nothing came out. Yeah, it's really hard. All right, let me do it. You have short hair. So how? Oh God. If you get a big old clump and you just rip it out, that's gonna be twenty hairs right there. I'm gonna be fucked then. You're not gonna no, be fucked. No, it ain't. You're Come not on, even man. able to tell. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, it'll be. You got a lot of hair on your head. Bald is in anyway. Oh, it's okay. It's very good. I did it. It's only one though. We it's need only nice one. That's two. Okay, he got two here. All right, eighteen. Okay, see oh, at, see at the end of this one right here, how there's like a little white thing on it. Well. Right here at the end. Well, you got one in your hand, too. Yeah, I know. This one right here has a little white thing at the end. Mm -hmm. That's the bulb. That's what we need. So we need a bunch more like that. There you go. It's it's usually easier if you do it than if I do it. Damn, bro. I'm ripping my fucking hair out, bro. Come on, come on. 20 of them, bro. And 100, damn near. It's okay. It'll grow back. You're very young. It'll grow back. Eight left. Don't worry. Come on. Quick, then we go. Take me to the barber shop. We they can't do it. Why you can't take shop. me? No, no, no. I'm gonna do this. But why you can't pay for my haircut then? No, the easiest what? way to do it though, understand. literally, just put your head down. Let her grab one yeah, little you pinch, do it then. and then the whole thing's done in but one But don't punch. look. Please don't snatch all the hair out, bro. Please. Whoa. I'm only gonna take what I need, and I, I don't want to torture you by pulling your hair out. I just want to get this take, done. Then take me to the barber shop. I can't. You don't understand. We need the bulb. No, 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 no. After 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 Dude, I got an awesome set of clippers. I am totally good with that shit. I can fix it up. Don't worry about it. Look at me, dude. Come on, man. You playing. You promised, bro. Do I look like a guy that doesn't know a fine fucking haircut? I know it's been a couple weeks for me, but I know what I'm doing. I'll even it out, dude. I'll fade it in nice. All in, Perfect. right on the back. Let's get going. Just think, we'll get done with this and you can get out of here. Let's just get it done. Well, put your head down. She'll do it all in one pump. Okay, just here. So why don't I just... Then I'm straight. Then I'll just go to jail, dog. For, for not for fusing, bro. Because, bro, this shit hurts, bro. I'm not doing all you this, You're going to get contempt of court on that shit? It ain't worth it. And then they're going to make you do it anyway. If only they hold you down in the jail and do it anyway. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. You, don't want, you don't want that shit done in the so jail. So what if I, do? I always want to refuse to just take me to the cell until, until some, because shit, I don't... But you're missing the point. I got nothing charged on me. You don't, you're missing the point. Hmm. They, then they're going to come back with a bunch of people over in that cell and big boys, and they're going to hold your ass down and yank that shit out of your head. And it'll bleed. Let's talk about... They're a lot bigger and scarier than me with my little tweezers. Let's talk about doing it right, letting you do You're it. You're not bleeding. You're not going to bleed from having your hair pulled out. Go ahead, man. Damn, okay. God. It don't make calm, no okay? sense letting yeah. someone else do it. We're all calm here. Some crazy son of bitches will be yanking your head. You won't know what the hell to do. Damn, what That's the fuck? Dark. Bro, you just pulled... It's no, we got game. about all of them in that one shot. Oh, I need a couple more. We don't have quite 20 here yet. Look, I'll do it one you more time. You can't see it. I'll get a mirror Come on, and show This you. is going to be really quick. You're not even going to be able to notice. Damn, dog. Fuck, dog. I know this sucks, but we just got to get it done. 
Damn, what the fuck, bro? Okay. Chill, 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 chill. You might have yanked some more and they just loose now. Could be. Look, there's one right there. Look, there's one right there you dropped too, dog. Tighten up. Tighten up. All right, I'm tightening up. They're on the paper now. Come on. <laughs> Look, one right there. He's, He's a fucking scientist now. There Come you on. go. Come on. Don't blow on no, that bitch. That something falls on the floor. She got to get more. We have to start all over then. That's all of them. Are you sure you want to count them? No. Nah, that's all of them, bro. Are we good with moving on to the next section? Yeah, let's go to the next section. All right, bro. We're going to move on to the next section. Thank God. Okay. So you just got to do that four more times, and then your beard, and then I'll let you, you pull out your own hair. I can fight, but shit, all these other pooling here and shit. So in other words, if we get in a fight, we pull your head, you fall over there. You're just going to give up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, lean forward again. Yeah. You're doing fine. Can I do the left side of your head now? Can you tell your head that way? That's an easy side. Uh, uh, don't, don't rip. You feel me? I have to rip them to get the hair out. I can't just, like, go. You're mm. just snatching the shit out of my head. It goes quicker that way. Do you want me to keep just grabbing no, no, you and right, grabbing you're and you're right, grabbing? You're right, you're right, you're right. It's like ripping off a band-aid. Look, okay. When you do it, grab grab enough that you think that's enough, and, and then just do it once, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, but don't, don't grab like a whole bunch. Like we don't want to divot in there. We'll just go around okay. little spots. You just have little. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh. Okay, be careful not to blow on it. Okay. My bad. Well, it had to be enough. That's enough. That's, that's enough. only that's five hairs. Come on. We're almost done. Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. It's just the sand on my arm. Uh, he's gun shy now. He's jerking his head. Are we good with that? Yeah, yeah we're good. Side. That's good. Okay. One see. more side. We're not even doing a full 20. We're going easy on you. But still, you got some fucking hair. I did. That's the whole point. I know. That's why we're doing this whole thing. Okay, we're going to do the right side of your head now, so I might have to turn around and turn face the other way. Damn, dog, uh, that shit gonna fuck up my, my scalp, ain't it? It's gonna grow no, back. No, of course it grows back. It's gonna grow back. You've but never had hair, hair when you yeah. snatch hair, don't it fuck oh, up? Oh, no, you're fine. Grows oh. It'll probably grow back thicker. No, you, when you shave it, it grows back thicker. Same no, thing. No, they shave my hair, the shit never grew back. That's true. That's it's why you don't want to use my barber. So? That's why you <laughs> just you just get a ball. Fucking ball looks good, too. Shit, I said, when I, if, when my hair starts falling out, I'm gonna get a whole ball. That's how you're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. Tattoo that makes your sense. head, too. No, I don't, okay. I don't tattoo my Lean face. Head. Lean your head. Shit. Big foot all in and bust up. Mm. Come on. Damn, dog. Yeah, but it's it getting, like used getting used to it. It's like you're getting used to it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, it's like... I'm just done. Okay. One or two more times, and we'll be good. Uh, Come on, we're gonna get this done. Look, there's one right down on your finger. Okay, give me a second. Tell me what it's on. He's counting. He's counting. Oh, he is. <laughs> wait, wait. Nine. Nine. Oh, okay, nine. let's do it one more time. Come on. Are we That's good with it. that? Yeah. That's good. That's it, right? Nope. Gotta do the very top and the back and then your beard. You just said just the back. No, I had I told you five places on your head, we've only done three. Got two more on your noggin. We're almost done. Come Damn, on. I thought I meant to fold my hat up, bro. It's okay. No, you can't. No one will even it. notice. Don't worry, them girls won't laugh too much. Come on. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a girl and it looks fine. Just lean your head down. Two good ones. Those are two beautiful ones. Okay, so cooperate. I'll go ten percent. Maybe why your head is longer back there. Mm. I don't know. Ah, right, you got it. You got it. You got it. She ain't got nothing. One more time. Come on, one more time. Damn, dog, you just snatching them, bro. Good. That's, That's good. good. That's plenty of them. Hey, get that extra one. Wait, throw that one. Look. Throw it in there if you got one. Damn that shit. Well, I tightened up. I'm getting them on the paper now. Yeah. Thought you'd be impressed with that. 
Alright, I guess go do the back and then we'll move on to the other area. Turn all the way around. Wait, all the way around? Yeah, I gotta do the very back of your head. Damn, dog. This is the last spot on your head. Alright, alright, alright. Calm down. How many? One, Come on, one more good one, probably. Well, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was good. He's good. He's good. That one's good on there. Yeah. As you can see, the interrogation was a failure. Robert Alvarez didn't confess to anything. Didn't give out any hint that he's done anything. Just went with the flow, and the interrogation ended after the DNA samples and the hair samples were taken. So eventually Robert Alvarez was arrested and charged and went to court. This is how his first court session ended. Not reach a decision, meaning there will be a third trial. Only on 5 News Channel 5's Brian Enton is live at the courthouse and spoke to the suspect's grandmother. Brian? This is really very rare, a double murder suspect getting a third trial. The first trial was overturned on appeal, and now this trial thrown out after a hung jury, that jury spending almost two days deliberating and not coming to a conclusion. The suspect is Robert Alvarez. Prosecutors say he is one of the men in this surveillance video from the Green Acres Circle K in 2010 when two clerks were killed. But his defense attorney says the witness testimony is not consistent and police made mistakes in the investigation. The suspect's grandmother says today for her is bittersweet. We wanted a not guilty, but we'll be here to the end to do whatever it is we have to do as a family to prove the truth. The judge asked the jury to continue deliberating a number of times, but eventually gave up when they said there was no way that they could reach a verdict. Coming up all new at 6 o'clock, only on 5, you're going to hear from jurors on both sides, those who thought that Alvarez was guilty, those who thought they were not guilty, uh, he was not guilty, and they'll give us an inside look on what went on inside that jury room. Live outside the courthouse, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5. I'm Jake. This case is circumstantial. I mean, the first court session went on a hang jury, which means they couldn't come up with a decision. Like I said before, the DNA samples taken from Robert Alvarez mostly did not match the DNA samples the police had. And also, the woman that drove them to the place said after the whole incident, they came back to the car and when she looked at the co-defendant, she saw a bigger gun than she saw before they left. And she said Alvarez also had a gun. But during cross-examination, she then testified that she did not see Alvarez with a gun. So the only thing the police actually had on him was a couple people saying he bought a gun and a couple people saying they drove him to the place and a couple people saying he looked like he was in a rush when he came back home that night. Right now, three life sentences for the man police say murdered two Circle K store clerks in Green Acres. The guilty verdict for Robert Alvarez coming down this afternoon. News Channel 5's Brian Anson has the family's emotional reaction to the verdict. Brian. Jay, this is just one of those cases that has had so many twists and turns over the last six years. Uh, Alvarez was convicted once back in 2010, and that verdict was actually overturned. And now here we are today with another uh, guilty verdict. Alvarez was emotionless as the judge read the guilty verdict and sentenced him to three life sentences. When the judge asked Alvarez to speak, he said, quote, I'm good, I'm straight, I'm fine. Alvarez is convicted of killing Circle K store clerks Michael ben Bennett and Ralston Muller during a robbery when police say he got away with $71. Alvarez's mom was emotional speaking to the judge before sentencing, saying she stands by her son's innocence. He's got a lot of friends. They all know each other. But that does not make him a murderer. Because he has got gold teeth and he's got a tattoos. 
Alvarez's face is actually covered in tattoos. You see there, he uh, has makeup on his face, so you can't see the tattoos. He receives special permission from the judge, which makes this case very, very unique that he's able to get that permission to basically cover his face uh, in makeup. Alvarez's co-defendant, Darnell Raz, was sentenced last year also to life in prison. He has since appealed that sentence. And Even one of the evidence against Alvarez was that somebody tested him. Alvarez, the lake is being searched because like I said before, his co-defendant had thrown the gun in the lake. And then Alvarez replied to the person, pray. So the detectives are saying the fact that Alvarez replied, pray, means Alvarez knew something about it. In a high profile convenience store murder case just got a new chance for freedom. Terry Parker joins us live with the ruling to overturn his conviction, plus the appeal that another man is now making. Terry? Yes, it was a 2010 double murder, so cold hearted that even detectives were shocked. Two men convicted for gunning down two Circle K employees. But tonight, the appeals court says one of those men will get a new trial, and the second is also appealing. Let's look at the surveillance video. You see a masked man demanding money from clerks Michael Bennett and Ralston Muller, who start handing it over. But what you don't see are the men convicted in this crime shoot both clerks dead for no apparent reason. A jury convicted Robert Alvarez and Darnell Raz, but denied an appeals court says Alvarez deserves a new trial because of a detective's testimony. According to the ruling, the judge should not have let the detective testify that based on the video and still pictures he saw, the two suspects were a light-skinned or Hispanic man and a dark-skinned man. The judges say that was information the jury could have discerned itself. And because there were no fingerprints or other critical evidence like that, it might have influenced those jurors. Now, Alvarez will be brought back from the prison where he is serving two life terms. He'll be brought back here to the Palm Beach County Jail where a new trial will be scheduled. And Raz, also appealing, he could also have another trial in his very near. Another circumstantial evidence was that a corrections officer tested that while Alvarez and other inmates were watching a true crime television show, which aired the surveillance video, Alvarez stated, I shot him with that chopper. The corrections officer also overheard Alvarez make this statement to another inmate during a private conversation. Too many circumstantial evidence too many recanted statements, but Robert Alvarez is still in prison serving his time. So, do you think Robert Alvarez actually did it? Do you think he was part of the two people that robbed that convenience store that night and killed two innocent clerks? This is my theory. I think Robert Alvarez knows his co-defendant did it but doesn't want to snitch. That's my theory. I don't think he did it, but I think he knows about it. He might have done it. That's just my theory. One of those incidents, the deadly shootings at a Green Anchor Circle K. There is so much to this case that I did not talk about, but I'm going to link the actual case document under the description so you could take a look at it. What do you think? Comment down there. And thank you for watching. This is Opinion Deviante, where we add our opinions to court cases. Peace and have a good day.